就是那个外面打一个孔进来，到时候会把那个东西给它排出去。这个口，我、哦、这个师傅打的挺艰难，因为我们都是新房，所以它特别的厚，它那个设备不是特别的好打，然后就打了半天，终于把它通过了。你看它管子伸进来了。Uh, Jeff, do you mind to introduce what you're gonna do with this roofing and、uh, how things will be look like? Yeah, absolutely. So right now we have checked in there and we have proper airflow going through, so that lets me know that the roofing was done correctly. Okay.、Uh, now we're going to just kind of prefabricate、uh, our design. Uh, so basically, we're gonna tie on off of here, come up. We're gonna 90 degree and come over, and then 90 again and bring it up. And then、okay. we're gonna have the fan kind of sit right in this level right here. Okay. And then extend up from there, and then 45 into the 90 that's in there, which will then attach it to the exterior. Okay. Cool. And then I'm gonna do a few calculations、uh, just on my end, just to determine what size fan. Uh, we're going to put in so、okay. just kind of what kind of negative pressure is going on, pressure test underneath the slab,、uh, things like that. Okay, so okay. this is Jeff, the guy I invited to help me get rid of redum of my house, and then today he finished the job. So Jeff,、yeah. do you mind to briefly introduce yourself to my audience and、yes. tell them who you are,、Absolutely. and which company you work for? Yeah, my name is Jeff. I'm the owner and mitigator at Radon Resolutions. I started this company about a year ago. I got myself certified and was on my way. I also have an extensive background in HVAC of over 15 years' experience as well, too. If you want. Want to get、uh, get the mitigation done as soon like me, concerning about the harm to my body. Give Jeff a call; he can get it as soon as possible, right? Yeah, absolutely.、Yes. Okay. We all know that radium is a very toxic gas、yes. to our body. It's、yeah. gonna hurt our cell and. Uh, eventually, to get like a cancer. Yeah, so it's a radioactive gas that comes up from the Earth's core, and、oh. essentially, long-term exposure prevents many health risks. One of the main ones being lung cancer. It's actually、yeah. the second cause of lung cancer,、uh, next to smoking. When I got the test result, it was three hundred. I was like, Oh my goodness, am I、yeah. going to get cancer? Yeah, and that, and you know, that would definitely scare me as well too. But it's that long-term exposure that's gonna、okay. that cause the damage. It's、mm -hmm. not actually the radon itself. It's、mm -hmm. the radon decay particles that get in the air after they creep into the house that cause the damage. Do you mind to introduce the mitigation system you just installed yeah, for me? Yeah, absolutely. It took you like、so. a, a day, right? Yeah, it was probably about five hours、uh, yeah. that start to finish.、Uh, mm. Luckily, being that new, all new homes、uh, have a rough end. So、okay. in 2015, they passed the National Building Code that made all new homes in Alberta、yes. have to have a rough end. So basically, what a rough end does is you have your pipe coming up through here,、okay. and then there's underground piping all underneath, which allows the fan that we attach to draw from those areas and all ends of the house. Okay. Yeah. So and, is that just one pipe roughing?、Uh, no, it'll be, it'll be spread all over the place. Okay. Yeah. So if I was to do an older home that didn't have a rough end, I would have to core a five inch. Hole myself, and then dig out a suction pit to allow for as much airflow to come through as、oh. possible. This is the fan right here. Um, so I did a RN2 fan,、uh, which is kind of like a middle-range one when it comes to CFMs. What that's going to do is just draw the right amount of air out.、Uh, that's、mm. going to reduce as much radon as possible.、Yeah. So by adding the vent pipe and the fan, what that does is prevent any radon from entering the home,、mm. uh, because the negative pressure actually sucks all of it out before it has a chance to enter the home itself. Makes sense. Yeah. Makes sense. And the fan has different sizes. Different size, just different CFMs, which is cubic feet per minute. So depending on you know leakage in the home, things like that, you might need to go as high as an RN4, which is a very high CFM. This one's a lot lower. As we discussed, it was a very tight seal. Morrison did a really good job,、okay. so we could go with a smaller fan size. I see.、Yeah. And also, I'm curious about this. What's this? So this is a manometer. What that does is it just allows you to know that it is working correctly. So any time that this is Running, it will be up in this area. You want it between about 0.7 and about 0 or 1.9, so you're right in around 1.5, which is really good. So that's just allowing you to know that it's actually sucking and reducing the radon. So if this is ever at zero, it means that it's not working correctly. 
So, Jeff, to do a system like this, how yeah. much normally the cost? So all things are, <laughs> know, are, so are different. Canada, yeah, but right? everything's very different. It really, there's lots of determining factors. One, if it's roughed in. Mm. Two, type of foundation and floor slab that there is. Size of the home, how much leakage there is, things like that. So they range kind of all over the place. Uh, so they range. start around 1800 and they can go as high as about like 3000 as well. Too, okay, so. so if no roughing that can You're going to be in that cost. kind of like 22 to like 2600 range if there's no rough in and it also depends on the method that you do as well too mm. but I mean they're pretty standard here in Alberta. Because a lot of people like are curious about do we really need to find a certified person like you to yes. do it or anyone can do this? I mean you should hire a professional for the simple fact that we've done our schooling we're very well versed in it uh, we kind of in the industry say it's a poke and hope if someone does it on their own as like a DIY mm. uh, they just poke a hole in install a fan and just hope for the best uh, ah, so I by see. doing that you're not getting uh, the proper things that you need done so I you know, know I always recommend hire a professional for testing, you can hire a professional, but it's very easy to do just like you guys did. If you buy like an air things or something along those lines, it's very simple to test to find out what's going on. So you guarantee that after the mitigation is in store yes. that the rhythm level will be lower than 35 if I'm not Yes, wrong. so uh, we have a guarantee that it will be below 75 Becquerels. So the Canadian standard is anything above 200, 200 you definitely want to. Mm -hmm. If it's between 100 and 200, you want to kind of consider it. Anything below 100 is pretty good. Yes. Uh, so we always guarantee a long-term average of below 75 and we have never had any issues getting down That's much good. below that. Yeah, because so. I use the basement a lot. Yeah, so absolutely. Lower than 100. I do at my house too and, and that's one of the main reasons. Okay. Reasons why I did it. Okay, so for Canadian homeowners, yes. do you have any suggestions to them, those who are concerned about Yeah, radon? absolutely. I always say educate yourself. There's lots of information out there. Uh, if you just type in radon or radon health risk, things like that, it's going to let you know kind of what's going on and, and what to expect if you do have high levels in your home. And the biggest thing, if you have any concern at all, test. Make sure that you are testing so you can see what your levels are yeah, at. Exactly. If they're high, contact professional right away, mm. like myself, and we'll be able to help take care yeah. of you. Yeah. So, what kind of like a testing unit you recommend? Uh, I always recommend if you're going to purchase one, the Air Things that you guys have, the Wave yeah. or the Pro. Very good. They're very they're accurate. Expensive. Yeah, there is a lot more expensive ones out there, but I mean, is they're kind of like the best bang for your buck for accuracy. I yeah, see. Yeah, they have one of the best reviews out there. Okay. I still have the same one that you have in my home, okay. and I constantly monitor it. So, once I install the mitigation, yeah. it's important for me to still monitor the random level. I mean, I would check in on it, uh, we, especially at the beginning, because we want to make sure that the fan that I've installed is working correctly. Okay. Um, but it will take a few weeks for it to kind of hone in and give you a, an accurate reading. So you'll yes. notice that it's dropping, but it will fluctuate at first just because it's trying to figure out what's going on with the new system in there. Yeah. So yeah, after that, it should be well below the 75. And then if you are ever just curious, you can always open up your app and, and check. Yes, yeah. yes. Uh, thank you very much for Jeff. Yeah, no problem at doing all. Doing a great thank job. Thank you very much. For me, and cleaning everything like just yeah. you didn't come i try, I I try really to act like i wasn't here other than really the system that. being in yes. so. and thanks for um showing us the uh, like sharing your knowledge about red yeah, absolutely so thank you very much thank you thank you all right 看一下这个 Rhythm Detector 它长什么样它长这个样子就是这么一个圆圆的 每次看到那个红就心里面特别难受就感觉哎呀那个冬季进到我的身体里面去了我要得癌症了怎么办哎然后这个device呢它是分两个部分哦它有一个这个实体的device 可以要求你刚东去安装一个东西的设备今天视频就到这里我们下期再见拜拜